Hello friends, I am Mahi. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic for freshers. In this video, we will be discussing the top 10 Microsoft Word interview questions along with their sample answers. Before starting the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. And don't forget to comment your feedback and questions in comment section. So, let's start the video. Good morning sir, I am Mahi and today is my interview. Good morning Miss Mahi, please have a seat. Thank you sir. Shall we start the interview? Yes sir. What are the different ways to select text in Microsoft Word? In Microsoft Word, you can select text using mouse by clicking and dragging over the desired text. Alternatively, you can use keyboard shortcuts like shift plus arrow keys or control plus shift plus arrow keys to select text. How would you change the font type and size in a Word document? To change the font type and size, you can select the text and then use the formatting options in the font section of the home tab. Click on the drop down menus to select the desired font type and size. How can you create bulleted or numbered lists in Word? To create bulleted or numbered list, you can select the text and then use the corresponding button in the paragraph section of the home tab. Click on the bullets or number list button to apply the formatting. Explain the difference between save and save as in Microsoft Word. The save option is used to save the changes to an existing document. It overrides the existing file with the modification made. On the other hand, save as allow us to save the document with a different name or in a different location, creating a new copy of the file. How can you add page numbers to a Word document? Adding page number is straightforward. Go to the insert tab and locate the page number button in the header folder section. From there, you can choose different placements options or customize the format and appearance of the page number. What is the purpose of using headers and footers in Word documents? Headers and footers allow you to add consistent information at the top and bottom of the each page in a document. They are often used to display page number, document titles, author's name and other relevant information. How can you insert a table in Microsoft Word? To insert a table, go to the Insert tab and click on the Table button in the Table section. You can select the desired number of rows and columns or choose to desire a pre-designed table template. What is the Track Changes feature in Word and how can you use it? The Track Changes features allows you to keep a record of changes made to a document. It highlights additions, deletions and formatting modifications made by different users. You can enable it by going to the Review tab and clicking on the Track Changes button. How would you insert a hyperlink in a Word document? To insert a hyperlink, select the text or object you want to link and then go to the Insert tab. Click on the Hyperlink button in the Link section and you can enter the URL or browse for the file you want to link to. Once you have entered the desired link, click OK and the hyperlink will be added to your document. Explain how to create a mail merge in Word. Mail merge is a powerful feature that allows you to personalize documents by combining a template with a data source. To create a mail merge, you will first need to set up your main document which serves as a template. Then you connect it to a data source such as a list of names and addresses. Finally, you insert merge field in the document which will be replaced with the corresponding information from your data source. Creating personalized documents. Well done, Miss Mahi. Thank you, sir. I hope you liked the video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Thank you for watching. Keep practicing and best of luck with your Microsoft Word interviews. Bye, take care.